a bin that continues to burden the authorities as how to deal with garbage, especially in the cities. However, what some see as nuisance is considered an opportunity by scientists. The CSIR's Institute of Industrial Research has piloted a waste dissemination project using incinerators. Scientists predict that should the model be adopted on a national scale, the struggle about landfill would be a thing of the past. Napoleon Atukito reports. Worldwide, countries are encumbered by waste disposal issues. Ghana has yet to find a lasting solution to the waste menace. Waste management in Ghana is made difficult by indiscriminate lettering, inadequate public sanitary facilities, lack of capacity to recycle waste and manage landfills where garbage is dumped. Ghana's capital, Accra, generates 200,000 tons of waste per day. To deal with the challenge, the authorities are now campaigning for positive attitude to waste disposal. Ghanaian scientists have devised a waste segregation method considered the masterstroke against the Herculean problem. Previously, the CSIR's Institute of Industrial Research paid a bill of 9,000 Ghana cities a month for waste collection. It decided to find a way out. Now, the Institute has directed its staff to place biodegradable waste in a green bin, while the non-biodegradable ones go into blue bins. Fermentative products which are biodegradable are treated and used to produce biogas, a form of energy with organic manure, as a byproduct. Waste materials that do not ferment or decay, such as plastic materials, glass, paper, textile products, among others, are sent to the incinerator for controlled burning. Only a little smoke billows from the chimney of the incinerator built by the institute a containment that reflects what the scientists call clean procedure. Programmed to run at a very high temperatures, its fuel is firewood. The poison of the fans in one of the several chambers in the incinerator intensifies to reduce smoke. The incinerator procedure is akin to a running vehicle engine and its attendant causes and effects. Vehicle injectors act by enforcing the interaction between fuel and air in right quantities to ensure lean burning. At below optimal levels, a vehicle may emit thick black smoke. In the case of the incinerator, the industrial scientists are particular about reducing smoke from a burning toxic material which is harmful to humans. The CSIR's senior research scientist, Dr. William Usu Odro, describes this incinerator as a higher grade. Some of those materials, we harness them for production of composite materials, for instance. So we do wood plastic composite materials, fly ash plastic composite materials, which can be used to replace wood. Okay. But the rest, which are not, not recyclable here, it goes into this incinerator. And it is burned at a high temperature, for about 1,000 degrees Celsius. Waste burned in a day at the Institute of Industrial Research is about 180 kilograms, and this is only internally generated waste. The ash left in the chamber is so small, something the scientists describe as effective alternative to landfills. If that ash is to be dumped in a landfill, the experts predict it will take about 100 years to fill it up. This is the residue of 20 tons of waste material incinerated over a period of four months. At the end of an elaborate recycling process, every waste is used up. The scientists have a use for the ash. It is convertible to fertilizer for agricultural purposes. The CSIR proposes this procedure of waste collection and treatment as a solution to the waste menace if adopted for use by communities. We have had very little funding from donor agencies to support the tooling of IR in order to be able to deliver on our mandate so strongly on commercialization. But that hasn't stopped us from working. Autoclaves commonly used in medical facilities to stamp out 
infectious pollutants in medical material operates at a temperature between 120 and 200 degrees Celsius. The incinerator built by the CSIR's Institute of Industrial Research, IIR, runs at a temperature more than 900 degrees Celsius. The action of the furnace on its contents is disproportionate force, as though an ant has been put before a sledgehammer. Napoleon Atukitu reporting.